Good morning to you all. Greetings in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. Greetings to you all on this Monday the 25th of May. I hope you've all had an enjoyable and a peaceful weekend. Welcome to this time of devotional worship. In Psalm 37 verses 4, the psalmist says, Seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. Psalm 37 verse 4, Seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. God has given to us another week and another day that we may do God's will, whether that be work in your home or in the chores that you do or at your workplace, school or in whatever you are doing. May the joy of the Lord be in your heart and in all that you do today. Please use this devotion to help you throughout your journey today. Remember, obey the level two rules. God bless all our workers and all our school children today. The overall theme for today's devotion is your life producing the right results. Is your life producing the right results? The first Bible passage comes from Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 and 8. Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 and 8. The Apostle Paul says, Do not deceive yourselves. No one makes a fool of God. A person will reap exactly what he sows. If he sows in the field of his natural desires, from it he will gather the harvest of death. If he sows in the field of the Spirit, from the Spirit he will gather the harvest of eternal life. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8. Do not deceive yourselves. No one makes a fool of God. A person will reap exactly what he sows. If he sows in the field of his natural desires, from it he will gather the harvest of death. If he sows in the field of the Spirit, from the Spirit he will gather the harvest of eternal life. The theme for today, is your life producing the right results? If you plant a crop, it is important you have the right seeds. If you plant the right seeds, the crop will grow. The field doesn't determine what grows, it is the seeds. If you are not happy with how your life's harvest is going, perhaps it is time to plant different seeds. If you plant the seeds which produce good things, then good things will be produced. If you plant seeds that produce problems, then you will harvest problems. The Apostle Paul knew the value of being patient because seeds take time to grow. You must look after the soil and care for it so it will grow. But the key is plant the right seed. That will produce the good harvest. Are you growing things in your life you don't want? then stop planting the wrong seeds, the seeds of anger, the seeds of bitterness, hate, jealousy, and much more. If you don't like the harvest those seeds are producing, it is time for you to plant different seeds based on the teachings of Jesus Christ. These seeds will produce a good harvest. Ask yourself, 
Is your life producing the right results? Now the second Bible passage comes from Matthew chapter 13 verse 9. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 9, which says, And Jesus concluded, Listen then if you have ears. Matthew chapter 13 verse 9, And Jesus concluded, Listen then if you have ears. These words from Jesus comes at the end of a parable that Jesus told about a person who went out to sow seeds. The seeds fell onto different soils and they grew differently. Those different soils represent the different ways in which people hear and respond to Jesus' teachings. Some seeds may fall onto hard rock, and so they don't grow, representing people who hear the message, but they don't want to take it in. Some seeds fell among thorn, brush, thorn bushes, representing those who are easily distracted or sidetracked. Other seeds fell on good soil, and they grew, and they created a good harvest. The point of the parable is for people to look at themselves and ask, is your life producing the right results? The word of God is the seed planted in the soil of your hearts. But what sort of heart do you have? Is the soil of your heart hard like a rock? Is it easily distracted? Does it give up easily? Or is it a heart that is fertile with good soil, where God's word can grow and flourish and produce a harvest of good things? Is your life producing the right results? Let us pray. We thank you, Lord God, for this new day that you've given to us, a day that we can rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the power of your holy word, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Your word has reminded us today to look again at our lives. Challenge us, Lord God, that your word may be planted into our hearts that it may grow and flourish, that the light of Christ may shine in whatever we do, and that your name may be glorified. Bless all the leaders of this country, all health and medical workers, scientists and doctors working towards a vaccine. Bless and protect all workers, children and young people in their schooling today. May your healing mercies and your strength, Lord God, come upon the sick, the vulnerable, the elderly, and all those who need your help at this time. Heavenly Father, keep us all safe as we journey throughout this day. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now remember to continue to obey the level two rules. God protect all our workers and school children today. We shall see you again tomorrow.